Today we're taking a look at something brand new on the channel, the SOL or SOL coin, which exists on the Solana blockchain. We're gonna be performing some technical analysis to make some predictions as to where we can expect to see SOL go in the near future. Let's get into it. How's it going guys, Ryan here and welcome back to another crypto video and yes today we are checking out the SOL coin one we have not checked out on this channel before it has been performing extremely well and lots of people are talking about it so I thought why not let's make some price predictions using technical analysis on this crypto today but before we get into that guys please remember to leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy today's video and if you want to see more of this sort of content hit subscribe and turn on those bell notifications to cover crypto stocks investing and wealth management and of course i'd love to know your thoughts on sol and solana down in the comments section below but without any further ado let's jump straight into the computer and start today's analysis Welcome into Solcoin today guys if you're looking at buying this crypto or want some other coins you can sign up in the description of today's video and also receive some free Bitcoin with it but let's take a look at the price action of this crypto right now as we can see currently we're sitting at a value of $145 dollars and 66 cents us and we have recently peaked up to this point of about 147 dollars and 65 cents us as you can see it has been a phenomenal climb as we zoom out but i'm going to go to the daily chart for today's analysis and once again you can see just moving all the way back here to april 2020 the climb has been crazy and many many investors in this crypto have seen incredible rewards but particularly over the past few weeks and that's really what I want to focus on today when we had the big crypto crash we can see that this crypto dropped down to roughly about $19.07 US down from up here which was about $58.57 so a decent sort of drop in that realm but it has recovered in spades and like many other cryptos such as Luna it has gone absolutely crackers so what do we do first well firstly we really need to put in place some key areas of support and resistance now one we can obviously look at is roughly down here that's pretty basic and that's a key point from the previous highs earlier in the year but we've moved on from there now so let's start building up as we can see, we've probably got another point around about here. Continue building up. Let's go. There's not much price action for us to be able to, you know, put in some key locations or key points. So we're really just having to implement using our intuition. Basically here, I'd suggest there because, you know, four days worth of price traffic. But then let's move on to exactly where we are now. And it looks like realistically we have a new point of support which is in place and that new point of support for us would be sitting at roughly this point a dollar sorry a dollar 130 us dollars sitting right about there is our current key point of support just purely based on price action that has occurred but what we can also see is a flag pattern has begun to form on this crypto and i'm just going to see if I can bring this one to the front so we can visually see it. I'm also going to remove these lines as, as we get a bit higher up, they're not as relevant for us. But let's move into this position here. We can see that with regards to Solana, a flag pattern is starting to form in potentially this sort of a sense. Let's just come down here. You can see that we've had quite a bit of price action going on there, but now here's the question, are we looking at this from a pennant perspective or are we looking at this from a sideways flag? I would be inclined to suggest that based on what we've seen in the past here, we're not moving in this sort of a direction. In fact, what we are doing is narrowing down slightly, grabbing one of these, moving up, and it is more of a pennant type shape. So basically, what we're going to see is potentially a breakout occur. So I'm just gonna remove that line. 
and you can see a pennant has effectively formed. So within the next day or so, we are likely going to see a breakout occur, whether it be up or down, I'd suggest up just based on the overall crypto space at the moment, but as well, we're in an uptrend and a very convincing one at that. Just to put things in perspective, from an uptrend perspective, it's quite hard because there's so much that has occurred in the past few days, but you could realistically put something like that in place for the short term. A trading channel has effectively formed in an upwards direction, roughly about there. We fell back into it after jumping out a few times, but we are now back in that. So all in all, looking relatively good, relatively positive. Where could we go based on this? Well, I like to use the flagpole method in that we take the pole itself, we take that to the very edge of where our flag currently is in order to project exactly where we could be going. So what we do is plop that one right there and look for our next target. So our next target point for Solcoin is $187.55 US. So keep that in the back of your mind for today's video, guys. That is the price target. We're gonna be aiming for this point right up here. Now, let me just chuck in a little baseline for us right there. That is where we are aiming to move towards today. So really, really good stuff. Let's bring in a few more indicators to help support our argument here. So first and foremost, let's bring in our moving averages. We're gonna have our short term and our medium term really being the influencing factors here, but we'll also bring in our longer term moving averages as well, just because it's good to see exactly where we're sitting from that perspective. So we've got a 20 day moving average, we have a 50 day moving average, and we have a 200 day moving average. You can see these are all sort of moving in the right direction. We had a golden cross down here when our run started, and we started moving in that sort of a direction. What is going to occur now is we're gonna see this 20 day moving average, which is currently sitting at a value of, I believe that's 98 US dollars. It's gonna creep up and act as another layer of support for us. The 50 day and the 200 day are gonna do the same, obviously at slower rates. So our focus right now really, we can get rid of the 50 day, get rid of the 200 day. They're not providing us with much assistance instead focusing on that 20 day. And the key here is to see when consolidation does occur, we do stay above that moving average. Otherwise, we might be turning around. Something else I'd also like to point out is, as you can see, over the few months worth of consolidation that occurred, a lot of the price action dropped off. And as you can see, towards the start of this run, we saw things pick up in a big way and they just grew and grew from here. We've only recently just had one of our biggest volume days on this crypto, which is absolutely fantastic. And as you can see, it looks like it's slowing, slowing, slowing as the price sort of, I'd, I'd say, consolidates. And what we're likely to see is when we do spike up, or hopefully do spike up, we will see that volume come in and the technical factors will support that. So let's bring in another Im indicator as well, MACD, Moving Average Convergence Divergence. We've not had a cross at all, but it looks like we have hit the peak here and we're slowly going down as a result of the price action moving sideways a bit, but our blue line is not looking like it's gonna cross our orange line anytime soon. So that's our 12 EMA and our 26 EMA. So hopefully what we see is the 12 EMA does continue to stay above the 26 EMA and we continue to move in the right direction. Not much to see from here, guys. All that we can see is really that it's cooling off slightly. So let's look at something a bit more relevant. I think that's the relative strength index. And as you can see, right now we are very, very, very overbought. You can see we've been in that predicament from basically this point here, which is on the 13th of August until today, which is on the 6th of September. Now, one thing that's really interesting with cryptos is it doesn't seem to care about the RSI greatly, but what you will see is it will continuously come down and try and touch this 70 mark before going for another big run. So I wouldn't be surprised to see this cool off slightly, maybe come towards 
the 70 mark slightly, but then we'll go boom again and it will start moving in an upwards manner. Just looking back in the past, you can see Solana is one of those cryptos which stays above the 70 point mark on a regular basis. We're currently sitting at, just for perspective, 83.50. So we are significantly in the overbought section. But if the buying momentum comes in, the buying momentum comes in. You can see it's cooling off slightly over the past couple of days. Volume is dropping, but the reason it's staying up is because most of the volume that is going through here is buying momentum. There's no dumps or anything like that. So all in all, looking very, very strong still, but the RSI does need to cool off at some point, obviously. So with those things in mind, can we break out and can we go for this mark up here? Well, I think we can. We've got a great setup, a great flag pennant pattern that has occurred. We're still in an uptrend and we are showing no signs of really any reluctance to start cooling off from a buying perspective. Obviously, as I mentioned, the RSI is overcooked, but as you can see, even with a reduction in volume, the RSI is not coming down, which means the buying pressure is really there. We're not seeing people dumping coins and selling off. So this mark at 187 is realistic within the next week or so, in my opinion. That wraps up my soul coin analysis for today, guys. If you did enjoy it, leave a like to let me know, and I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments section below. Do you think we're going to hit that target of 187 US dollars within the next week or so? Let us know down in the comments section. Of course, if you want to see more of these sort of videos, hit subscribe and turn on those bell notifications to cover crypto, stocks, investing, and wealth management in general. But I'll leave it there, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.